Hello everybody, SigRev2 back again with another video for you all, and I'm back in front of Tier Maker to do another ranking. Holy shnikes, I can't believe it's 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 not gonna take me uh, five months to make one. So, ladies and gentlemen, for those that uh, do not know, I like to rank the songs on the DDR games, just the songs themselves. The charts have nothing to do with it. It's just how I feel about the songs, how they make me feel, etc., etc., etc. And I would just like to give a few quick shout-outs momentarily before we dive into this. I would like to thank the Bimani community for being so warmly receptive to the one I did for the first game, the Dance Dance Revolution US PS1. You know, I, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you all not flaying me alive, so thank you so much for that. Uh, this, you know, I, I appreciate you getting a warm reception. It makes me glad that I'm doing this kind of stuff again. And I know the tier maker thing is, I, I get it. it. It's played out. It's old, but it, it's fun to do. It's very fun to do. And it's always nice to get your guys' opinions on stuff. Um, I had a bunch of other people I wanted to shout out right now. So, but unfortunately I... I can't really think of them right now. It's been such a long day for me. I just got off of a 10, almost 11 hour shift and, whew, man, but can't fall asleep yet. I'm doing this for you guys and man, I've gone a minute and a half without actually describing what's going on here. Man, I am not a good entertainer. So, I'm going to be ranking DDR Kona Mix. And because I didn't properly explain this in the first video, yes, I do plan on doing every single console game released in the US. Maybe Japan. I do have all the PS2 games for Japan, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But yes, every console game released in the US it's going it's going to get ranked at some point i am doing it slightly out of order because disney mix was actually the second one that was released for playstation 1 and uh, i'm doing kona mix which is the third one but i feel I'll, i feel i need to get grounded a little bit more with disney mix before i attempt to try to rank it and plus I have to actually make the ranking and find pro appropriate graphics, etc., etc. It, it, it's a whole kit and caboodle. So, uh, this ranking, I'm going to try to explain it a little bit because I think there's a bit of discrepancy in what it is. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the S, A, B, etc. ranking. I try to base it off of my actual ranking because with how I rank stuff, it's very, I, I don't know exactly the best word to put it, but, <clears throat> you know, I don't like making things hyper-specific. I don't like, oh, well, this is 4.3 out of 5. What's the difference between a 4.2 and a 4.3? Like, it makes no sense. Sometimes I can understand 0.5 if you really don't know, but I just, like, quick cut to the point one out of five not good at all two out of five okay three out of five good four out of five great five out of five mega jam it's it's base it's it's as simple as that if you've seen my rate your music account it basically falls under the same catalog there but no more talking no more stalling about things other than our first song here, AM3P303 Bass Mix. Now, this is the only exclusive song to Kona Mix. Every other song is technically a revival in some way, shape, or form, either from DDR PS1 or one of the countless games that were released over in Japan. This is the only exclusive one, and Japan did not see it officially until, I believe, Extreme. And, uh, well, if you saw my first one, you would know that I rank AM3P extraordinarily highly. Do I feel the same about 303 Bass Mix? Not really. I'm gonna put it firmly into 4 out of 5. I think it's a very nice remix. I think Yuichi, he, he knows what he's doing when it comes to remixes. And 
I don't have a problem with this one, but it does kind of pale in comparison to the original one. The the only AM3P remix of the three of the two that are in the game, the AM East mix from Max Two, is the only one I would consider about on par with the original one. Next up, Genom Screams. This one was from Beatmania 2DX Substream, I believe. It's an interesting song. I will give it that. It's a very interesting song, but LED has done significantly better. I'm gonna put it in three of five. I don't dislike it by any stretch of the mean of any stretch of the imagination, but I don't know, man. Something something about it. It just feels a little bit amateurish. And I guess it makes sense. It's one of the first songs in the 2DX existence. <laughs> so I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend, like hold it to a high standard. But anyway. R3, another song from 2DX. This one debuting in the original Beatmania 2DX. Um... It's probably played out from a bunch of people. I'm pretty sure so many people are sick of it. I'm not. I'm putting that bad boy in 4 out of 5. In fact, I'm putting it above AM3P. Do It Right is a very, very fun song. I It's been growing on me a lot recently, actually. I've been finding myself looking forward to listening to it whenever it comes on like if i'm listening to music on shuffle and it pops up then i'm like oh yeah hell yeah so i'm gonna put this above oh above am3p but below r3 r3 is just such a fucking absolute unit of a tune but do it right's pretty damn good too groove i'm gonna put that into three out of five um i think it tries to do what do it right tries to do <laughs> words are coming together into my brain all at once and none of them are meshing together properly groove does what do it right does or it attempts to do it and it doesn't do it as good but it's still a decent song let the beat hit him classic r&b style i am conflicted on this one I do like the original Let the Beat Hit Him, and I do like this one enough, but I don't know if I can justify it as any rating higher than 3 of 5. It's got a nice atmosphere to it, but I think that the original one does the content that's within it justice. Uh, Look to the Sky, this one is probably going to get me crucified. I'm going to put that into 2 out of 5. Now, hear me out. I would have it so much higher on my list if not for the True Color Mix. The True Color Mix just blows the original one out of the water and there's no there's no question about it. I would rather listen to the True Color Mix any day of the week. The original Look to the Sky, it's it pales in comparison. It feels so basic and elementary. And I know, it's like, oh, well, True Color Mix didn't debut until later on, and you're supposed to be judging these songs on your own merits. And I get it. I get it completely. But even with that, I can't sit here and tell you with a straight face that it's one of Soda's best. I can't. I do feel a little bad putting it so low, but I, I, I genuinely can't justify a higher rating on that one. On the Jazz, this one... I'm going to put this one in 3 of 5, but I'm going to put it above Groove. Maybe it's because I've heard it so much growing up playing Ultra Mix and um, Extreme. I've heard that song a million times and a million times more, and I'll probably hear it another million times in the rest of my life. It's a nice song. It serves what it's trying to do, but it's not one of Yuichi's best songs. Absolute from DJ Taka. What would I be human? Would I be a humanoid if I didn't put this motherfucker in five five? I I I don't even think I need to justify that one. Absolute is is amazing. It's been amazing since it debuted back in what. Beatmania 4th 
it ever since then it almost over 20 years later over 20 years probably uh eh, <laughs> i'm not good at time but it's such an anthemic piece of music and like I do wish that the ending part, when the key change happens, I do wish that that part lasted a little bit longer, but even in its current state, in its current shape and form, there's just, it's an absolutely flawless tune. Absolutely flawless. Next up, we have Afro Nova Primeval. Um, oh, I do apologize, somebody. Dynamite Grizzly just commented on DDR US ranking, so... Shoutouts to Dynamite Grizzly. Uh, I can't actually read the full comment. I will take care of that after I'm done recording this. Alright, the Afronova Primeval. It's a very nice remix. I don't know if I prefer it to the original one, but I'm do I will put it in a four out of five. It's got a very nice atmosphere to it. I do love just the pounding bass and the kicks. And everything that's going on in that song. It's a very nice tune. Dive is not a nice tune. That one's going into 2 out of 5. I've never been a big fan of b for u to begin with. I don't have a necessarily have a problem with idol groups. But b for u just feels... I don't know. It, it feels manufactured even for a manu, highly manufactured genre. Or, or... You know what I mean. Hopefully. Like, it's... I've never been a big fan of Dive. I, I, I don't know. I don't have a problem with the singers in the project. They do have some fantastic singers in the group. And Naoki is capable of flexing his production chops. But, I don't know. Every single time I listen to a B4U song, it's like I would rather just listen to something else Naoki has done. Or something from Ryo Kasaka or... EK or any of the other singers. It's just it I'm, I've never been a big fan of Dive. Even even when I first heard the song eons ago. Uh DXY actually I believe it's pronounced Dixie, but I like calling it DXY. This one, I'm going to have to put this one in 4 of 5. I would put it in 5 of 5. In fact, on any other given day, I probably would have put it in a 5 out of 5, but I think 4 of 5 is pretty justifiable placement for it, especially above R3, one of the most iconic songs in Bamani history. Healing Vision. This one's... Oh my god, I, I kind of want to put it in a 5 of 5. Do I want to put it in 5 of 5, or do I want to put it in high 4 out of 5? I'm going to put it in high... Four out of five. It's got... It's one of the best songs under the Desire project. Easily. And... I don't know. There's just there's just something about it that's just very capturing and moving. In fact, I kind of want to put it above Dixie. Nah. I'm going to leave it there. I, I can't keep second-guessing myself or else this video is going to be at least an hour long and we're already at 13 minutes. Okay, Matsuri Japan, this one's going to go into 3 of 5, but it's going to go at least above Groove. Um, I don't, I don't know exactly. It's got a nice flow to it, and I, it's bouncy, it's fun, it's quirky, yeah. But, I don't know, you, you hear it once, you've heard it a thousand times. <clears throat> Uh, let them move. Returning from the DDR US ranking, and guess what? It's still one out of five. It still blows Donkey Dong. Uh, point fifty nine, which uh, I can't remember the actual pronunciation of it. Oh my God, Tengoku, I believe, because it's it's a play on the Japanese numbering, and it actually is translated to heaven. Uh, I believe it's Tengoku could be wrong i've been wrong once before but for 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 sake of my mental well-being i'm just gonna call it point 59 for now uh but yeah that's a five out of five both five of fives are from dj taco right now can you believe it 
I swear, I don't have a DJ Taka bias, but, I mean, he knows how to craft a goddamn tune. Uh, after the Game of Love, this one is a, it's a bit of an inside joke in my parts of the town. I don't know why I gravitated to this one as being the joke. Probably because it's so unnecessarily sexual for such a unsexy game. I mean, unless dancing in place and hitting arrows just seems like a sexy time to you, I won't judge you. But After the Game of Love is a damn good tune. I'm going to put it in 4 out of 5. And I'm going to put it in top tier 4 out of 5. I'm sure someone's going to get upset at that. But... I don't care. I care a little bit. Before you, I, it's one of those you heard it once, you heard it a million times. I'm I'm a little bit sick of it. I'm putting it in a three of five. Baby, baby, give me your love. I'm not a big fan of that one, honestly. Two out of five. Uh, the other song from the Divas Project, uh, Secret Rendezvous, is a thousand times better in execution and everything compared to Baby, baby, give me your love. Uh, if it was the 2002 version, it would be higher, but we're, we're going based on what we got here, and I'm just rambling again. Uh, anyway, Brilliant to You, uh, this one is better than Before You. Actually, I'm going to put Before You a little bit lower. Um, I'm going to put it right there, and Brilliant to You will be in 3 out of 5. Uh, it, it just feels so much more essential to the... Bimani catalog into DDR, but again, you've heard it once, you've heard it a thousand times. Burning the Floor, I I'm gonna have to put it again in 3 out of 5. I'm gonna have... <clears throat> Actually, 3 out of 5, I'm putting that, I'm moving Matsuri Japan down, and I'm moving Burning the Floor above Groove. It's... A lot of the early Naoki stuff, it kind of blends together, and Burning the Floor is no exception. I mean... I mean, look at look at the jackets for Brilliant to You, Burn on the Floor, and Be For You. They're basically identical. These mechanoid creatures, like, existing in blue and... Blue and family shades of color palettes. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Man, leave me alone. Uh, can't Stop Falling in Love. It's okay. Speed Mix is significantly better. Celebrate Night. This one's going to go into 4 out of 5. It's a fun and jaunty little tune. Uh, Dead End. Soul Laps. 5 out of 5. Uh, Don't Stop AMD Mix. This one is going to go very high up. It's going to go above after the Game of Love. But not into 5 of 5. Uh, Dead End is actually going to be here. Don't Stop is a very, very fun, fun little tune. Uh, I do kind of wish it was more like the original one from 2DX. Uh, I like the way that one progresses and flows and it constantly changes things up. But this remix definitely does the job and does the job well. Dropout, I I'm slowly, slowly growing off of it. But it is going into 4 out of 5. Just above Celebrate Night. Uh, drop the bomb. I don't actually remember where I put it in my original ranking, but I do believe I put it in four out of five. So drop the bomb. Uh, drop the bomb. Mm, I'll put it there. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right after do it right, uh, but before R three. Dynamite rave. I've never been a big fan of dynamite rave. In fact, I'm gonna put that into two out of five and. If it was the newer version, I would probably put it in 1 out of 5. I've never been a big fan of Dynamite Rave. It's so boring, even by Naoki standards. Like, it's so bog. It, 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 it's so milk toast. Like, the dude... It, it's like, we get it. You could do this genre in your sleep. And he probably was falling asleep when he made this. End of the century... Worse than Let Them Move. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we finally found something worse than Let Them Move, and it's end of the century. Holy shit. End of the century is so goddamn bad. Oh, the, the chorus, vocals, horrifically bad. The rap, boring, 
awful, just obnoxious. The instrumentation, obnoxious. It, it, there's absolutely nothing good about it that I can think of, aside from the fact that it exists and it managed to last as long as it did. I know some people really like that song, but with Let Them Move, like, okay, yeah, there's a quirky charm to it. I genuinely can't see how anyone could be like, oh, End of the Century is actually a fantastic tune and one of Naoki's best. No, it's, it's fucking trash. Uh, but you want to know what isn't trash? Era Nostalmix, which is above absolute. Era Nostalmix has always been one of my favorite video game songs in general. And, uh, yeah, that's not changing here. It's still absolutely fantastic from start to finish. And I would be fucking dumb if I put it anywhere lower on any sort of list. Higher, very cute song. I've always had a soft spot in my heart for it, so I'm going to have to put it pretty high. Uh, not, No pun intended. It's going to go into 4 to 5. Holic is another song that I do find myself enjoying significantly, but I'm putting it just below Dixie. I'm kind of trying to I'm trying to speed things up here because I find myself, I find that I'm rambling a lot more in this one. I'm a little bit tired, so I do apologize if my energy level isn't as, you know, as it was in the last one, and plus it's over, I've been recording for over 20 minutes, and, you know, y'all got shit to do, so, you know, I don't want to waste your time. Hysteria is a very good song, very, very good song, in fact, I think it's so good, I'm gonna have to put it into 5 out of 5, yes, I'm doing it, 5 out of 5, absolute slam jam, there's nothing you could do to, to make me feel any different. La Senorita Virtual is going to go into 4 to 5. But where in a 4 to 5? It's going to go right below Dixie. And then the uh, normal La Senorita will be in 4 to 5 at the absolute bottom there. Leading Cyber, significantly better than Grad Music Cyber. And this one's going to go... Do I like it that much? I do not. So I'm going to have to casually drop it down here. Love to me. This one is... Nah. Trash. Absolute trash. Mix is absolute dog shit. And everything about it is just fucking annoying. Everything about it is just absolutely annoying. I know some people will defend the Love to Me series to death, and I've never been one of those people. I think it's just a terrible song. Orion.78, AM Euromix. This one... I love the Civilization significantly more, so I'm going to have to put it in the 3 out of 5. It feels kind of wrong putting it in 3 of 5, but I can't... It, it's okay for what it is, but the Civilization mix make, takes what was there and just elevates it to just disgustingly high levels. Paranoia Rebirth, my favorite Paranoia song. I would be dumb to not put it in a 5 out of 5. In fact, I'm going to put it above those songs. I'm going to leave it just below Dead End, but it's definitely 5 out of 5. Now, the normal Paranoia, I did put it in 3 of 5 in the original one, so I'll put it back here. In normal 3 out of 5, it's... Nothing has changed. You heard Paranoia. You've heard it a thousand times. You've heard me say that explanation at least a million times by now. Superstar is a jam and a half, and it's going to go right above La Senorita. Think You Better D is kind of overrated. I'm going to keep it completely honest with you. Um, just Under Groove. Eh... Just above groove. It's like, yeah, you found a vocal, <clears throat> a vocal sample pack, and we're so proud of you. Uh, Trip Machine Love Mix. This one's gonna go into. F I've been putting a lot of stuff in four to five. Kona Mix just has that great of a soundtrack, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have to put it above Afro Nova Prime Evil. Wild Rush is another song like that one's going into four to five. Fuck it. Now make it better, so real mix. Uh, it's not very good. Not good. No. There's just something about it that 
makes me not want to listen to it. Maybe it's because I'm so used to the original one, but every single time I listen to this So Real mix, I just feel wrong. If that makes any sense whatsoever, I just feel wrong. Make a jam is in fact a jam. Uh, but how much of a jam is it? It's better than do it right. I'm gonna go ahead and put it there and do it right. Cutie Chaser. Now, I know some people would hurt me significantly if I didn't put this high up. But, um, I don't need the threat of violence to uh, encourage me of putting it high up because it's an absolute jam and a half. It's going just below after the game of love. Make your move is two out of five. It's. I've never been a big fan of that. I. It, it's hard to explain exactly why I don't like that one particularly. Because I feel bad saying that I think it's bad. Because it's not bad. But god damn, it could be so much better. Diving money. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to put that one in two out of five. Uh, uh, just above Make It Better So Real Mix. It, the problem with the early 2DX soundtracks is that they just sound very amateurish. And this one and basically the rest of this list uh, coming up falls victim to that. And it's it's a shame because the 2DX series has 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 some very high highs, and you know we all got to start from somewhere. But unfortunately, where we're starting is uh, two out of five. Pat Center, the underdog story, is going to go just above diving money. Uh, it would be so much higher. It would be at least 4 out of 5 if not for that weird fucking dopey bloopy bloopy bass that runs throughout the entire thing in an entirely different key than the piano sample that plays throughout the entire thing. And also there's this really weird high-pitched tones that run through like the latter half of it. I don't understand what that's all about. Uh, Perfect Free. This one... This one's got a cuteness to it. It's going to go uh, below Genom Screams. Uh, below Let the Beat Hit Him. But above Can't Stop Falling in Love. Uh, Salamander Beat Crush Mix. It's going into 1 out of 5. And I know someone's going to be very upset at that. I, It's not... It's the absolute... <laughs> Absolute. It, it it's basically the main like when I'm explaining how 2DX sounds very amateurish and elementary, this is a prime example of how that is the case. It just sounds like they just threw a bunch of samples together, didn't care about the mixing, didn't care about the patterns, the layout, how it sounds in comparison to everything else around it. They just threw it together because they needed something else to add to the game. And it it kind of sucks that the Salamander series pretty much has been underrepresented in basically any of Konami's history. And damn, if this is really the best that they got for 2DX and DDR Konamix for Salamander, it's a goddamn shame. Uh, and last but not least, the Earth Light. Uh, I'm going to have to put this bad boy somewhere in 4 to 5. But where in 4 to 5? Right there. Right above Do It Right. I think that's a good place to put it. And, uh, yeah. I'm looking over this list right now. I might change up a thing or two here or there if I ever plan on doing something like this again. But that, that, that seems pretty good. Seems like a pretty definitive showing of my opinion on the soundtrack to DDR Kona Mix. Released in 2000, whatever, for the PlayStation 1. And, uh, let's, let's pop back up with OBS. Okay, so we've been recording for almost 30 minutes now. This is gonna be a long video. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like this, if you like this ranking. If you don't like it, where would you put things? 
Uh, there will be a link in the description to this exact same tier maker list if you want to give this a go yourself. Uh, be sure to send me links on Discord, on Twitter, etc., etc. And yeah, be good people. Don't be a stranger. Have a great day. See you all when I do DDR Max.